sports. It's in the game. So we'll give another chance to you. Ooh. If I make another wish, I'll wish for a wish for you. For you? Hey. One, two. Ecad, you heard of these lads. The myth that we made a grip. Never broke. Two day the Cadillac. I had to contract L's on the quick. Stick them up, slick talker, no trick. Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight he believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight he believes he's the better man look at the confidence on his face no ufc jitters for this man he is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one-trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet we'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order Well, he has joined a long list of Hall of Fame types, Chuck Liddell, 
John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Our tale of the tape now for this lightweight championship fight. Reyes is 12 years his senior. He is one inch taller. Same numbers on reach. Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now! Ready. All right, so here we go, round one. UFC Light Heavyweight Championship is on the line. Capacity crowd on hand. Many of them here to see that man, the 205-pound king. He has successfully defended this title in the past and now looking to defend the belt again against a number one contender who is ubiquitously regarded as the number one guy he will be faced on this championship run. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Nice strike. Nice leg kick. Oh, wow, those leg kicks are already taking effect. Oh, can't put any weight on it. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, you should accomplish something. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Every and that's going to do it. He's done. He's done. Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, ladies, gentlemen, the UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, your winner tonight and by TKO. Hard to perform much better than that when the lights shine the brightest. Very impressive performance tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 48 seconds in the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still. Still UFC light heavyweight champion of the world. Big effort out of him tonight, and he remains the king and the standard upon which all other 205-pounders will be judged. In the glamour division of the company, the 205-pound weight class, he is the champ. He is the standard bearer. He is the bar at which everyone is judged. Congratulations to the champion. That was bullshit. I'm going back to back to back for my bullshit. Do it one time. They're going to think it's luck. Got to hit him with the...